Hello, and welcome again to another video of classes. Today we're gonna be starting with the Unit 2 of the Interchange Level 1 book. And for the beginning, as always, we're gonna be continue we are gonna be starting with the vocabulary for this unit. Practicing the pronunciation of these words and also some of its meanings. Let's continue. We have some occupations. An, occup an occupation is basically the job of a person. We have accountant, you know, the people in the businesses that work with the numbers and the economy of a business, basically. We have babysitters, carpenters, carpenter or carpenter, cashier, chef, cook. The difference between a chef and a cook is that a cook basically works for a restaurant in the way that they cook all of the food that they need to eat in the restaurant. But a chef is specialized for usually the luxury um, restaurants or gourmet restaurants, but the cooks are in all places. Not everyone who cooks is a chef, but everyone can be a cook. Dancer dancer, dentist, doctor, nurse, and the difference between the doctor and a nurse is like is that the nurse is sort of like an assistant to the doctor. The nurse try uh, are with the pe uh, people that are sick or have injuries and try to go with them, but the doctor is the actual person that operates on them or uh, make the right recommendations for any kind of disease that they, the people, the patients may have. You have fashion designer, firefighter, also is known as fireman, but if you notice, fireman indicates that there's only men that are firefighters, but as you know, that is not true. Here we have a firewoman so to say but that's why we started using the term fighter fighter so everybody gets included fitness instructor the person that helps you to be uh, uh, in shape in the gym flight attendant that is the people that help you and brings you all the food and helps you with anything that you need in an airplane a front desk clerk that is the person like a receptionist a receptionist but only for a hotel or restaurants the front desk clerk usually for hotels more, most likely uh, and the the difference between the front desk clerks and the receptionist is that the receptionist is for business and the front desk clerk for hotels graphic designer very good a lawyer a mechanic Remember, CH as K, mechanic. A musician, musician can be a person that plays the guitar or a, play, a person that sings or plays the drums or any kind of instrument. All of them are musicians. We have engineers, office assistant, an assistant for the office, an office manager, a manager for the office, <laughs> a pilot. A police officer, a receptionist. As you can see here, she is in an office and she is part of a business. But when we go to the front desk clerk, you see that this is like a hotel, most likely. You have a reporter, a reporter, a restaurant host. That is the person that greets you to say, "Hey, hello." Uh, do you want a table for how many people? The people that receives you in a restaurant. A security guard. A salesperson. That is the person that wants to sell you things. Maybe cars or maybe a product in a store or something like that. A sales associate. A sales associate is specifically the person in department stores that helps you with to find what you need. For example, you're looking for a shirt, 
for your work and you only needed to be purple and this person knows everything in the store so she or he will go and looks for it that is a sales associate a server the person that brings you the food a singer that is also a musician is a person that specifies or specializes in singing a social media assistant and a social media manager here we have two differ, uh, definitions let's see them a social media manager manage social media marketing campaigns and day-to-day -day activities including develop relevant content topics to reach the company's tar target customers create curate and manage all published contents like images video and written it means that that is the person that is going through the main page of the business you know trying to put all of the information the promotions and stuff and the social media assistant assists social media management with large projects events and community management works as a part of a team to develop large social media campaigns analyzes and reports audience information and demographics and success of exceeding existing social media projects proposes new ideas and concepts for social media content these are people that try to help the social media manager the social media manager is the person that is in the moment doing the stuff to get to the people but the social media assistant is the person that gets to the data and try to get the best a strategy to get more people and they do large projects and events that's the difference between them we have a so sociologist that is an expert or a student of the development in or a student of the development structure and functioning of human society a social a sociologist is a person that try to get try to get to know how the society works with the people we have a software engineer is a specific type of soft of an engineer that works with programs on computers or lap or um, or cell phones and smartphones and stuff. We have a taxi driver. We have a teacher, like me. We have a tour guide. We have a tutor. The difference between a teacher and a tutor is that the teacher is always there, is part of the class, is only going to be with the group that you're assigned to it's always going to be with them and they work with a large amount of people a tutor works with individuals who are not so good at learning one topic of a class and they need a special help a tutor helps an individual and a teacher teaches many people we have a vendor that is as a person that have a post and sells different things a web designer who designs a web we also have types of jobs we have the food service business you know the restaurants the grocery market the pastries all the things related to food we have the entertainment business with the movies the actors actresses music concerts and all the stuff the farandula we have the office work and the travel industry we have some different workplaces too. We have a computer company like Intel, HP, Samsung, Dell, LG, all of these ones. We have hospitals that is the workplace for doctors, nurses and stuff. Usually the software engineers goes here. We have the office, the restaurant, the school, the university, the store, the airport, and we have some other words too. We have an app that is a program or application. We have clothes. Dessert. Not to be confused with desert. A desert is a part where it's really, really hot. A part of a planet that is really hot. But that dessert, dessert is a sweet type of food, basically. We have dinner. We have fabrics. We make clothes with fabrics fashion design the fashion designer using fashion design takes the fabric and make clothes basically it sounds like a tongue twister we have food a job 
that is like an occupation. You have lunch, that is the second part, uh, the second meal of the day. We have breakfast, the uh, lunch, and the last one is dinner. We have a meeting, that is like a reunion for her to talk about businesses. We have posts. That is when you post something, when you put something on the social media. You have a schedule that is a specific activities for a specific days and a specific hours. We have a snack that is light food or junk food that we eat when we want to have, you know, something tasty and good. We have social media like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google Plus, even though nobody uses it, WhatsApp, etc. Okay, now we're then we're gonna come back here to the grammar in a in a moment. Okay, let's continue with the other part. Okay, so this is the first uh, the second unit. It's called what do you do? And today we're gonna be seeing uh, to ask and answer questions about jobs, describe routines and daily schedules too. This is the for the second part that's gonna be seen tomorrow. Okay, let's start with the snapshot for this unit. We have six popular part-time jobs in the United States, but you may be wondering what is a part-time job? Well, as the name says, a part-time job is a job that you don't have for a full time. It's not eight hours of, of working. It's only maybe two to four or maybe even six. And these are six different part-time jobs in the United States. Let's see some of them. A babysitter, that is a person who takes care of babies or children when their parents are away, when they are not home. We have a fitness instructor, that is a person who leads exercise classes. We have an office assistant, that is a person who provides general support in an office. We have a sales associate, as we were talking before. It's a person who sells things in a retail store, like this is a retail store. A social media assistant is a person who helps create and update content on social media, as we were talking before. And the tutor, that is a person who teaches private lessons. Very good, let's continue. Here we have a word probably related to jobs. Here we have four different categories for these jobs, the travel industry, the entertainment business, the food service, and the office work. Take your time to fill each one of these categories with the correct jobs. We have accountant, cashier, chef, dancer, flight attendant, musician, blah, 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 blah. We have all of those. So please take your time and when you do finish, continue with the video. Okay, you finished? Very good, let's continue. For the office work, we have an accountant, also a receptionist and a web designer. For the food service, we have a cashier, we have a chef, and we have a server. For the travel industry, we have a flight attendant, a pilot, and a tour guide. For the entertainment business, we have a dancer, a musician, and a singer. Very good. Okay, let's continue. Now we're gonna be listening to a conversation, but first of all, let's listen to this conversation. We're gonna listen to this conversation and we're gonna see if these statements are true or false. Derek has a full-time job, Derek is always stuttered after work, and Amy doesn't like her job, okay? Let's listen to the conversation and then we're gonna listen the rest of it. Unit 2 what do you do? Page 9. Exercise 4. Conversation. I'm on my feet all day. Part A. Listen and practice. What do you do, Derek? I work part-time as a server. Oh, really? What restaurant do you work at? I work at Stella's Cafe downtown. That's cool. How do you like it? It's okay. I'm on my feet all day, so I'm always tired. What do you do? I'm a dancer. A dancer? How exciting! Yeah, it's great. I work with incredible people. 
That sounds really nice. But is it difficult? A little. I'm on my feet all day, too, but I love it. Okay, you get the answers? Let's see. Derek has a full time job. That is false. He doesn't have a full time job, he has a part time job. Derek is always tired after work. That is true. And Amy doesn't like her job. No, even though she's really tired every day, she likes her job a lot. Okay, let's continue. Now, let's listen one more time to the, the conversation to practice and also read it. Remember, you have this on the digital version of the video, of the book. Unit 2. What do you do? Page 9. Exercise 4. Conversation. I'm on my feet all day. Part A. Listen and practice. What do you do, Derek? I work part-time as a server. Oh, really? What restaurant do you work at? I work at Stella's Cafe downtown. That's cool. How do you like it? It's okay. I'm on my feet all day, so I'm always tired. What do you do? I'm a dancer. A dancer? How exciting! Yeah, it's great. I work with incredible people. That sounds really nice. But is it difficult? A little. I'm on my feet all day, too. But I love it. Remember, if you want to listen again, you can go back on the video. Okay, let's listen to the second part of this conversation. And let's try to uh, get to know... Who does Amy travel with and who does she meet in other cities? Let's listen. Page 9, Exercise 4, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Who does Amy travel with? Who does she meet in other cities? So, where exactly do you work? I work at a dance company, but I travel a lot, too. Do you always dance with the same group of people? Yes and no. I travel with a small group of people from New York. But I also meet new dancers and musicians in every city. Last month, I worked in Rome. Okay, very good. Did you get it? Let's see the answer. Amy travels with a small group of people from New York. She meets new dancers and musicians in every city. It seems to be a fun job. Okay, let's continue now. Now, we're gonna be seeing... We're gonna be seeing the simple present WA question, questions and statements. This is gonna be a good topic, okay? First, let's listen to this, try to pay attention to it. But then we're going to use another resource to see the grammar, okay? Listen to it and pay attention. Page 10, Exercise 5, Grammar Focus, Simple Present WH Questions and Statements. What do you do? I'm a student. I have a part-time job, too. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. What does Amy do? She's a dancer. Where does she work? She works at a dance company. She travels, too. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you. Work. Take. Study. Teach. Do. Go. Have. He, she. Works. Takes. 
Studies. Teaches. Does. Goes. Has. Very good. Now, if you didn't understand quite everything, we're gonna be going to some resources and I'm going to explain. Don't worry. Okay? So, let's see the part of the grammar better. We have the simple present. The simple present is, dif is used in different things. We use it for habits, that, for example, I always drink coffee at work, that is a habit. She gets up at 7 a.m. every day, that is a habit, and they usually eat dinner at home, that is a habit. We use it for something that is true in the present. He works on Wall Street. She is 60 years old. We live in New York. All of this is true in the present. We also use it for general facts or truths, like the earth is not flat, the sun rises in the east, and water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. We use it also for future timetables or schedules. For example, my train arrives tomorrow, we fly to Paris on Monday, and classes begin next week. This is, even though you're talking about future, is for timetables or schedules. Okay, something that happens with the uh, simple present is that some of the verbs take an S. If you notice here on the on this part of the of the grammar, if we have that I only with he, she, and also it, the verb needs to take an S to each one of them. But for I, you, we, and they, it stays the same. For example, work, works, take, takes, study, studies, teach, teaches, do, does, go, goes, have, has. All of them have an S, but they are different. Because, for example, in work and take, we only need to put an S. But with the study, we need to change for I, E, S. For teach, we need to put E, S. And do, go, and have, all of them are irregular, so they have different type of them. And there is some rules to this. We're gonna be seeing them right now. Okay, for most verbs, you just need to add an S. Like, Jimmy plays football very well. Why does it have an S? It's simple present, and we know that Jimmy is a person, it's a he, it's a man, so it's going to have a simple present verb. Jimmy plays football very well. Mary, the same, just being a girl, Mary takes a walk with Bobby every morning. Bobby likes to eat yogurt. You see that play, take and like are some common verbs and they use the S alone. But for verbs ending with CH, SH, S, double S, X, or the Z, we need to put an ES at the end. As we saw here, that teach ends with CH, so we need to put an ES. We also have that fix that ends with X, so we put the ES and brush with SH with ES. Jimmy fixes his car himself. Or, if you use the pronoun instead of the, of the name, he fixes his, his car himself. And, or she, brushes her teeth twice a day. With some verbs, and with the verbs ending in consonant Y, when Y is a consonant, makes, uh, it, it makes a consonant, we need to put an I-E-S. He fly, he flies. She cry, she cries every time. Okay, for the verbs go and do that are irregular, we need to put es. He goes to English every six months. She does her homework herself. Very good. And the verb have is also irregular. Has. Have has. Very good. Now let's see some questions with the do or does that are the simple present questions. It's just that these are in just these are just no questions and these are wh questions let's see to 
make just no questions with the simple present with do or does we always start with the auxiliary verb do or does depending on if it's a pers a person it can be a man a woman or it is also a thing we start with does and if it's i you we or they it's do after these two the auxiliary verb then the subject and then we put a verb for example do you go to the cinema on weekends for example do we like the movie yes no these are just no questions does he want to be with you maybe yes maybe no it's just a just no question okay very good let's see some examples on how to make the sentences and uh, questions you speak english that is a simple present question we put the do then yeah, you the you that is the subject we put the verb and then we put the rest and also don't forget to remember the question mark to make it a question do you speak english do you speak english and this is using you so everything stays the same so there is no much difference here but let's see when it's he she or it in this case he he speaks english it's a simple present sentence so the verb must have an s because it's he he speaks english if you want to make a question a just on question we need to start with does because does is for them does he speak we don't put the s and speak because we already have it here with does does he speak english and that's how you make it, okay something to main to remember is that the verbs that when we use it here we don't need the infinitive we don't say to go or to want or to like or to speak we just say speak go want or like and that's it now let's see the simple present with wh question w question with simple present remember we always have the what when where why how how often or how much or what thing and there is a specific way to do that we always start with the wh word then as you remember here if it's i you we or they i you we or they also the you if it's singular or plural is the same we continue with do what do you what do i what do we or what do they and then we continue with our verb and the rest it's really similar to this one it's just that we start with a wh word at the beginning what do you like to do for example something that a lot of people get confused is when we want to use the verb do here because we already have a do here we know we can use the verb do but remember that this do or does is an auxiliary verb so you can use do again as the main verb okay remember if it's he she or it we use does when does it start for example and also remember that this doesn't take an s because we already have it here in the simple present okay very good i hope that you understand this part let's see some examples what do you do here is a very a good example of what i was talking about a couple of minutes ago when we start with what do this do is the auxiliary verb and this second do is the main verb what do you do and we're asking about the occupation of, this, of that person I am a student I have a part-time job too here we're seeing some statements I have a part-time job if it were with he or she or it it would be he has a part-time job okay where do you work I work at a restaurant if you noticed, if we've, we didn't say the WH word, it would be just a just no question. Do you work? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. But since we have the WH word, it's a WH question. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Now, seeing when we have he or she. What does Amy do? Amy is a girl, so it's does. What does Amy do? Oh, she's a dancer. Where does she work? She works. Notice here that we have work without an S, and here we have the S with work. It's because he already have does that makes takes the simple present. 
Where does she work? She works at a dance company. She travels too. How does she like it? Oh, she loves it. Very good. I hope that you understand this. Now, let's take our time to practice this grammar by reading and um, completing this conversation. This is the last thing that we're gonna be doing for today. Okay, so take your time to complete this and continue with the video to see the answers. Okay, you finished? Let's check. What do you do? I am a full-time student. I study the piano. And where do you go to school? I go to the Brookings School of Music. Whoa, how do you like your classes? I like them a lot. Very good. That was the first one. Number two. What does Tanya do? Remember, Tanya is a girl, so it does. What does Tanya do? She's a teacher. She teaches an art class at a school in Denver. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. What does he do exactly? He's a website designer. He designs fantastic websites. Designs. Very good. Number three. What do Bruce and Ivy do? They work at an Italian restaurant. It's really good. That's nice. What is Ivy's job? Well, she, she manages the finances and Bruce works in the kitchen. Very good. And the last part. Where does Ali work? He works at the university. He has a part-time job. Really? What does he do? He does office work. How does he like it? Not much, but he has, or also he gets, some extra money to spend. Very good, people. I hope that you liked the class. Tomorrow we're going to be continuing with the next part of this unit. Okay? Until the next time, bye!